the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Meta platforms with the ticker symbol META. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, it does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have the daily chart for Meta platforms and I had to rewatch my last video just to make sure I wasn't, you know, assuming we're gonna, um, sell off right away because I, in the past couple of weeks I've noticed that Meta Platforms has been exceptionally bullish so I'm going to follow the price and basically I've been assuming or predicting that we're going to continue to move higher and that's what we're currently doing. Uh, we're definitely getting a little bit overextended but the channel might just be steeper so I don't know for sure but this definitely uh, fits still right here so maybe the channel is just steeper. Uh, but either way uh, my last target was right around here this is the first leg up. And this is the second leg up and we're almost to it, which is right around the 148 level. So in my last video, I was looking for that 148 level and we're almost there. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if that finally leads to the drop down, which I'm expecting, or we're gonna see another push higher. We did also have this micro uptrend channel inside of this bigger yellow channel that has played out because we have the first break of it and a new high in place. Uh, so, you know, maybe this will just lead to a correction, but either way, Meta platform still looks like it has a little bit of room higher, but I'm not expecting a lot more out of this stock. Maybe the 155, 156 level uh, will send prices lower. I'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. Basically, if we break above that and we can't go lower multiple times and we just continue to trend higher, then this is a bottom. As of right now, I'm not seeing a bottom in my eyes. I still think uh, sellers are going to give an opportunity to uh, drop prices. Then if it fails, then we can even think about a bottom as right now i'm not even thinking about a bottom i still think technically it's not even a bottom at all i think we're just seeing the uh, breakout of this channel you can see this is the long-term channel in play and prices have finally broke outside of it which is a good sign uh, don't get me wrong if you're a bull it's a good sign to see that prices broke outside of a channel that's been going down since april of last year up until pretty much december so a several month year channel that finally prices broke so it's showing signs of weakness in this downtrend, but it's not going to be over until we see a couple attempts down. So we can see this is the first attempt, second attempt, and I'm expecting a new low to be made. So those two attempts, if it doesn't go this far down and it fails, then we can see prices rocket higher. But I'm still expecting prices to attempt a couple of times to go down, and we have not even seen that yet. So basically, once this pullback is over, which I still think it's a pullback, uh, looking for that 148. Again, it's not this measure move is not to be used for picking tops. Basically, it's a target for when prices are trending. So we can overshoot it or undershoot it. So 148 is the, the target currently. And then maybe prices want to test this breakout point at the 155, 156 level because it was never tested before. Usually when you see a breakout occur, prices like to come tested multiple times before, you know, continuing down or, you know, coming back inside of it and reversing. So prices do like to test um, those levels before deciding if it wants to continue to go up or down. So I'm looking for that at the 155, 156 level. Um, so right now, you know, we're at the top of the channel. We're a little overextended, so we could see a pullback or we just continue moving higher in the fashion that we're currently inside of because uh, we've been just going in a straight line pretty much since looks like last year, uh, late December. So uh, we could do that too. And that's maybe that's what we continue to do. So. Right now, Meta Platforms is slightly bullish, um, but not expecting a lot more out of the stock. Like I said before, I give it a couple more weeks, maybe a month tops uh, to reach this target. It could take longer, but I think that's when we'll probably reach it. Earnings are approaching, so that's gonna throw a wrench in the chart. Let's see if it gets that push higher, the last push higher, or finally the, uh, uh, the drop down that we're expecting and then continuation. We'll have to wait and see, but it looks like it's, it's coming soon, uh, next week, so. We'll see if we can finally get that last push higher to the targets or we finally get the um, start of the down move. So that's everything on the daily chart. Basically, um, me medium to long term, I'm expecting uh, prices to retest these lows. Uh, but in the short term, you know, it's, it's, it's bullish. So right now, we're looking for higher price targets. 
Now let's take a look at the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart for Meta platforms. And we're finally closing above the EMA. So this is the third, pretty much, we had two consecutive weeks closing above it. So this is this could be the possibly the third one. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. But prices are coming back to retest this breakout level, which we, because it did not do it right around this like uh, mid to high 150s. Um, you can see how we just broke outside of that level. We went straight down. Now we're just kind of going straight up. So it's over um, a reversal. Uh, as fast as we went down is, is how fast we can go up. So it's looks like a V bottom. Um, so let's wait and see. But I want to see it clear this 155 level uh, and find some sub support before thinking this is a bottom. As right now, uh, there's a good chance it's still not. Overall, downtrend could be still in play. This is uh, me connecting the swings right here. And you can see that we could be in this major downtrend channel right here. And we have not even seen a, a break outside of it, which prices could be just coming back to this opposite side. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. But as right now, I still think this is a pullback. I see higher prices. Don't be shocked to see uh, the one the 150s again, um, because it is possible. And I think we could probably get it. Uh, but um, after that, we'll have to wait and see if prices finally want to reverse down or it's definitely uh, made up its mind that it's not going to continue lower. So we'll have to wait and see. But as right now, um, short term bullish, medium to long term bearish. So that's still pretty much my analysis for the last couple of weeks. And maybe I'll give you guys an update next week on where we are at. Uh, so thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel. Since you might be surprised what you can learn, leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.